All right, today I have a Yamaha compact disc player, CDC 697. I have not even plugged it in yet. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I thought I'd bring you along, check it out together. Okay, here we go, first power up. Tray does rotate, it's telling me it has no discs. Let's see if it'll open. And it will open. Well, let me grab a disc and put it in it. See if it tries to read the table of contents. Oh, do you hear that? Probably see it right here, but here's the microphone when I hit the close button. Oh, it closed that time. Interesting, it did not close. And all I heard was the motor spinning previously. So it grabbed the wrong disc. I have a disc in number two and it's trying to read number one. Well, let's see if there's a disc skip button. I'll hit play on number two. And it did read the table of contents and it is playing the disc according to the counter. I do not have speakers connected at this time. But the strange thing was last time I opened it and tried to close it, All I got was that loading motor just running. I think it just needs a new belt. That or cleaning the old one and deglazing the pulleys might take care of this. So let's see if I can get the disc to move while it's out. It may not want to because there is a single screw holding this plastic flap down, which I really don't need to be held down. I can get to the belt easily without it. But if I can move the slot in this tray over to about here, I can go ahead and get the disc out or the screw out, no problem. Well, I went ahead and I folded the little plastic shield out of the way here. And then take a look at what's on the motor pulley. Is that grease? I think it is. And look how nasty the belt is. It looks like somebody oiled it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that belt off. We'll hit it with some magical solution acetone. We'll also clean the pulleys, the grooves in here, just to make sure there's no contamination in there. The belt doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem like it's extra loose. So let's go ahead and pull that off. Well, you can see how oily it is right there. Look at that. Well, let's hit it with some acetone and see if we can make this thing open and close the drawer correctly. Yeah, nasty. Oh, look at that. I mean, you can see the residue of droplets right on the edge of the belt there as the light reflects on it. Oh, terrible. Okay, so just some regular old acetone. People have asked me, where do you get the acetone? Well, about any hardware store in America sells it. Walmart has it, Target has it, Lowe's, Home Depot, just about any place you can think of sells acetone. It's in the paint department. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I've got a regular paper towel here. I just wanna go ahead and get it nice and wet. I'm going to put the belt in, half in, half out, fold the paper towel over it, and then just pull it through multiple times to clean the contamination. And I'm going to wipe my fingers in the acetone because it has oil on it now. And I'll do this several times. All right, well, there's the belt after cleaning. No oil residue and it feels absolutely great. Doesn't have that slippery surface anymore. Now let's go ahead and clean the pulleys with a cotton swab and acetone. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my cotton swab and I kind of flattened it out so it'll get in the edge of the pulleys. It's already soaked with acetone, but I just want to go ahead and make sure it's not going to eat this plastic. So I'm going to rub it a few times on the top of each of the pulleys. And then if it turns out black on the bottom, it's going to eat it. And no, it is not black. So next, I'm just going to stick it in the pulley itself. Oh, look at all the gunk that's coming out of there already. Ugh, terrible. Okay, belt is reinstalled, it's all clean. And if I stall the motor pulley, it has an incredible amount of grippage now. It does not slip. So there are a couple of more belts in here. I'll do the exact same thing to those. This one is the belt that lowers and raises the CD mechanism into place. So we wanna go ahead and make sure we get that nice and clean as well. So first, I'm just gonna hold the pulley and see if I can make it slip. And I can quite easily. So after I do this, we'll give this another test. Look at that, slips right around there. I don't know who put this thing together at the factory, but they had very greasy hands. So I'll pop the belt off. Take a look at how shiny it is. I know the focus isn't the best, but look at how much oil is on that belt. So let's go ahead and give that one the same treatment. All right, all the belts are cleaned and reinstalled. All right, works great. Let's go ahead and put a disc in it. Make sure it reads the table of contents. So I'm gonna put a disc in number two and I'm gonna intentionally Try to hold this back while it tries to close. And I can't stall it. And I read the table of contents. It shows that it is playing on the display. Let's go ahead and take the top off and clean the optical pickup real quick. So just go ahead and remove these two screws. This should just lift off. There's where the optical pickup lives. So if I get the light just right, you can see how much fuzz there is on there. So I'm just gonna take a little acid brush and try to brush the fuzz off of here real quick. Well, that certainly looks a lot better. Now, just a regular cotton swab, moistened, not soaked, with a regular household glass cleaner, and then just very, very light circular motions on the lens. Nothing with ammonia because ammonia can strip the optical coating this lens has on it. 
Then we'll just go ahead and take the dry end, do the exact same thing, and notice that I'm rotating the cotton swab to always have a fresh, dry surface. Then I'm gonna take and clean the turntable. Same thing, rotating the cotton swab while I'm wiping the turntable off. Then the dry end. Just dry it off. This is gonna get hard to show on camera, but I've just got a droplet of oil. I just wanna put a little droplet of oil on the bushing right there. This is the turntable bushing, so I wanna lift it up and down a few times just to make sure it gets into the bushing. And I'll take my cotton swab that I just used to clean the pickup. And I'm just gonna to try to sop up any excess so it doesn't migrate anywhere. So now the bushing has been lubricated. Let's go ahead and hook some speakers up to it and give it a try. Okay, all back together, powered up. I have a disc in number two. Let's go ahead and hit play. Clamped the disc. It's reading the table of contents. And it's good. There it is, the repair on the Yamaha CDC 697. Five disc multi-changer. Just needed some belts cleaned, deglazed, the pulleys cleaned, and the optical pickup cleaned. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern, good or bad, down below. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.